Jeffrey A. Amor, Zone to Win, Organizing to Compete in an Age of Disruption. Welcome to the exciting journey through Zone to Win, Organizing to Compete in an Age of Disruption by Jeffrey A. Moore. This book explores the significance of catching the wave of innovation and its impact on a company's growth. You'll learn about the concept of four management zones, which include the performance zone, productivity zone, incubation zone, and transformation zone. These zones enable established companies to compete effectively against disruptive startups by restructuring their business models. The book carefully examines how effective management of these zones can lead to successful navigation of disruptive changes in the market. Catching Innovation Waves In this book, readers will learn that for companies to grow, they must catch the next wave of innovation before their competitors do. This involves introducing a new product or service that can turn an industry on its head. The best way for a company to experience continuous growth is to be an innovative market leader, which can yield up to 20% revenue growth over the first five to seven years after introducing a new product or service. However, if a company misses the wave of innovation, there is no way to catch up later. Using Apple's example, the book illustrates how companies that experience continuous growth are experts in catching innovation waves. Although disruptive innovations can throw whole industries off balance, companies can manage disruption effectively. Competing in a disruptive world Competing effectively in a disruptive world requires established companies to restructure their operations into four zones, performance, productivity, incubation, and transformation. In a rapidly changing market, lean and disruptive startups can topple established enterprises that fail to adapt. To compete successfully, companies need to balance maintaining their current business model with handling market disruptions simultaneously. The four zones of management provide a framework for companies to survive in a disruptive world. The performance zone is where existing products are sold. The productivity zone encompasses all activity that provides necessary support for revenue generation. The incubation zone seeks innovative solutions to boost company growth while the transformation zone focuses on finding ways for the company to adapt to competitors' disruptive innovations. By restructuring operations into these four zones, established companies can successfully respond to market disruptions and innovate to stay ahead of emerging rivals. Prioritizing innovation for business success Innovation is essential for business growth, but it often competes with revenue-generating activities, which can lead to distractions and setbacks. In the face of disruption caused by a competitor, companies need to sacrifice innovation and prioritize their existing business to protect market share. However, if an innovation can disrupt a market segment successfully, the resulting revenue will compensate for any dip in performance during the development phase. Ultimately, companies need to choose innovation as their priority and maintain a transformation zone team to help them adapt to disruption once the revenue stream is secured. Moving from home baking to a cake business Starting a cake business, moving from home baking to a thousand cakes a month sale, can be a daunting task. However, a company's productivity zone can be the driving force to develop effective and efficient growth. It starts with implementing standard procedures or systems to improve overall efficiency. While systems are universal, programs are temporary and help improve effectiveness. One such program is the end-of-life program, which reallocates resources from older revenue sources to newer, more profitable ventures. Amid a disruption, an end-of-life program works to reallocate talent to new tasks and cut off older products from sales. By implementing the productivity zone, a company can achieve success while remaining flexible and adapting to new trends and challenges. The Rules of Incubation Learn the three key standards that guarantee a successful market disruption, creating a new product-slash-business opportunity, producing at least 10% more revenue than the existing product, and having the potential to increase total company revenue by at least 10%. By following these guidelines, you can lower your product's chances of market failure and secure investment. Innovation is a driving force behind a successful company, and it requires a strategic approach to incubation. 
the key to success lies in meeting three standards to guarantee a successful market disruption. Firstly, the product must represent a new product or business opportunity instead of simply enhancing or building on an existing product. Moreover, it should aim to produce at least 10% more revenue than the existing product to justify the risk. For instance, Apple's iPhone aimed to earn at least 10% more revenue than the market leader at the time, BlackBerry. Lastly, the new product should have the potential to increase total company revenue by at least 10%. If the projections fall short of that, the innovation isn't worth the risk. Following these standards lowers the chances of market failure and assures skeptical shareholders that their money is being invested in worthwhile ventures. When a product meets all the above criteria, it can then move from incubation to development. Simultaneously, the first step towards a successful product release is to win a brand ambassador who understands the product and will advocate its use to other influential early adopters. Ambassadors such as Sean Parker who invested in Facebook and served as an ambassador played a vital role in transforming the startup into a multi-billion dollar company. To gain a dominant share of the expected market, a product release strategy should be geared towards gaining the trust of product advocates who will support the product as long as it fits their needs. By following the rules of incubation and securing investments, companies can unlock their potential for innovation and successfully disrupt the market. CEO's Guide to Crises Management Military discipline principles are readily translatable into business management. A CEO needs to be consciously aware of and activate their transformation zone only when a market disruption occurs. In such a situation, a CEO needs to focus solely on leading their team through the crisis and leaving the executive team in charge of daily management. To manage a market disruption, a CEO must learn to neutralize, optimize, and differentiate. First, they must take immediate action, leveraging the latest features of the disrupting products to make their competing product better. Second, a CEO should optimize their competing product with additional features to make it more accessible and appealing to their customers. Third, and most importantly, the CEO must create an entirely new product that sets them apart from the competitor. Throughout the process, a CEO must remain aware of the incubation zone, where new ideas that are vital to the company's success are formulated. Activate your four zones. As a CEO or manager, it is crucial to put your knowledge gained into action through proper planning and budgeting. The author suggests creating four zones within the company, performance, productivity, incubation, and transformation and assigning employees accordingly. Even if staff members work in one zone, they can still be assigned tasks from another. The performance and productivity zones should be activated through an annual planning process and corresponding budgeting session, while the incubation zone requires more flexibility as it depends on the company's needs and market position. The CEO and executive board should select board members and decide on the amount of funding for this zone. Finally, determine if a transformation zone is required and its status reactive, proactive, or inactive before allocating resources to it. By following these steps, managers can increase productivity and ensure their company goals are achieved. Microsoft's transformation. Microsoft, once a dominant market player, faced a severe challenge when mobile technology disrupted the industry. Competition from Apple and Google's mobile operating systems put Microsoft Windows under serious headwinds, causing the company to lose its position in the market. However, Microsoft transformed itself and channeled energy with innovative strategies, leading to making Office available as a free mobile download for iOS or Android users. This helped the company retain its loyal customers. Additionally, Microsoft is developing new products in its incubation zone, including Bing, which is now a Google competitor. Bing focuses on incorporating innovative features and algorithms that will eventually assist urban planners in creating smart cities. Microsoft CEO, Satya Nadella, leads the effort to regain market share and regain customers' trust. The company's success illustrates how a transformation agenda can help even a technology giant. As we wrap up our exploration of a zone to win, 
It becomes clear that successful companies must adapt to an ever-evolving world of disruptive changes. By thoughtfully restructuring operations into the four zones, performance, productivity, incubation, and transformation, companies can navigate these challenges while fostering growth and innovation. Furthermore, the experiences of companies like Microsoft serve as vital lessons on the importance of effective management of disruptions and strategic innovation. With this knowledge, companies can establish themselves as leading market players in the age of disruption and transform the way we interact with technology, industries, and the world at large.